The Dallas Fire and Pension Board wants DART to help get its failing fund back on track. The board today signed off on a plan that DART warns could cost jobs and ultimately affect commuters. Fox Force James Rose at the Dallas Police and Fire Pension Fund headquarters in Dallas. And James, you're giving us the latest. Right, the measure this morning passed by a 10 to 2 vote. Now, some are calling this, you know, measure just political posturing filled with empty promises. Others calling it a money grab. But those who are vested in this pension say they are hopeful that this will help bail out the failing pension system. All in favor. Dallas Police and Firefighter Pension Board members passed a measure asking the city council to take an eighth of a cent sales tax from DART and put it into a dedicated public safety fund. City Councilman Scott Griggs says Dallas taxpayers are subsidizing transportation costs in surrounding cities, giving them an unfair advantage. That's why the suburbs can offer much more competitive salaries to police and firefighters than the city of Dallas. And the roughly $35 million a year the fund would get, Griggs says, coupled with a legislative plan set to go before the House, would solve the pension shortfall problem. The public safety fund would take care of the pension crisis, number one, and then number two would help us offer competitive salaries to police and firefighters. Sounds too simple. It is simple, and the big point is the voters should have the decision. This is taxpayer money. It's not that simple. It, it's not like I could just go ahead and take that eighth of a cent. A cent. There's bond covenants related to, those, to that amount. It could be 13 years before you realized any um, revenue. We're not even sure that this is actually even legal. DART says a 35 to $40 million cut in its half a billion dollar operations budget would have a significant impact, affecting 20 to 25,000 Dallas DART riders a day. This is still a significant threat to DART, to our customers, to all of our customers in all 13 cities, but particularly those customers in the city of Dallas who would see service cuts if this were to be successful. Now, many people say that's a scare tactic. No, that's just the facts. And caught in the middle are retired pensioners like Joe Lavender. The next generation of firefighters and police officers, they're watching how the city treats its retirees because they know they're next. And who wants to come to a city that treats retirees like dirt? So what's next? Well, the measure will have to be introduced to the city council where there is going to be stiff opposition from the mayor for one and the two city council members that voted against it, uh, number two. And, you know, even if it is to pass there, the idea is that it would go before the voters so they could vote to approve such a measure. But even if that happened, it's not clear if a swarm of lawsuits wouldn't follow that, Clarice.